The volcano bond which is backed by Bitcoin is made possible by a historic law that El Salvador's parliament passed. The government hopes to use this bond to raise money to reduce its national debt. El Salvador, which in 2021 became the first nation in the world to accept Bitcoin as legal tender, declared on January 11th that its assembly had approved a law for the issuance of more virtual assets, laying the groundwork for the eventual issuance of Bitcoin bonds. The bill was approved on January 11 by a vote of 62 to 16 and it will become a law once El Salvador's president, Nayib Bukele, has ratified it. The bonds enable foreign investors to obtain citizenship and are expected to yield 6.5%. The objective is to attract foreign investment in $1 billion worth of BTC bonds running on Blockstream's liquid network, giving the struggling economy a much-needed boost. United States users can now send money directly to people who use Visa debit cards through the new service Zoom from the financial technology company PayPal. According to a recent press release from PayPal, Zoom and financial services company Visa have partnered to enable debit card holders to receive money directly from Zoom. In addition to the Philippines, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Ukraine and Vietnam, the feature is accessible in 25 other nations. Users no longer have to wait for the typical five business days for wire transfers because of the recently launched feature, which allows them to access their money immediately. Significant company-to-company -company layoffs continue to take place despite the Millie bull run. A few crypto companies have already scaled back their workforces by a certain percentage in recent weeks and Singapore-based cryptocurrency exchange Crypto.com is the most recent to do so. The company expressed how challenging it is to carry out this decision when it earlier today announced a global reduction in its workforce. In a 13 January morning company update, Chris Marcelak, co-founder and CEO of Crypto.com stated, Today we made the difficult decision to reduce our global workforce by approximately 20%. Since Crypto.com employs 3,000 to 500 to 4,500 people, the 20% headcount reduction will have an effect on 700 to 900 workers. According to the company's update, the choice to fire employees has nothing to do with the stability or overall performance of the business. However, it's more so as a result of the unfavorable global economic developments. In the upcoming segment, we will update you about the following news. Alameda liquidators get liquidated while consolidating funds on DeFi. Hodel Not creditors reject the restructuring plan. Prefer liquidation and Cardano developer IOG deploys slide chain toolkit to boost blockchain. Stay tuned for more updates.